So should we just say that uh, the bard and the uh, wolf man went chasing after Gorn? Uh, no. Well, it, they'd started chasing after the illusion of Gordon, which had his pants down, meaning they left it the corner. <laughs> and they got carried away by the shadows. <laughs> They're all dead now. <laughs> so, when last we met, you guys found yourselves in the abandoned mines. Uh, you interacted with a bunch of spirits who were concentrated inside an old furnace. They were being... Mm, Surrounded and threatened by a large group of shadow creatures. Perry, you used an illusion to draw the shadows away down one of the mine shaft corridors. Which totally may or may not uh, be acting like one of those wacky uh, inflatable tube guys. Uh, you then freed these spirits that were bound inside the furnace by channeling them up through a ventilation pipe to somewhere up on the surface above. After that, you guys uh, quickly ran down a side corridor and tried to hide from the pursuing shadows as they discovered your ruse and came looking back and, uh, or, uh, and they came back looking for retribution slash food. <laughs> uh, you ducked into a side room where you found some empty barrels of a famous brewmaster and anvil as well as a bunch of alchemical reagents or the scraps of them yeah. that would be used for making mind altering drops. Which I uh, put in my inventory as evidence reagents. Okay. Sure. This is evidence. Uh, some of the shadows caught up with you, and you had a bit of a scuffle with them. And then through a initially terrible and later fortified illusion, <laughs> you managed to get the remainder of the horde to skip past the room you were hiding in. Uh, you then headed out and went down the other way. <laughs> hanging down the long shaft, hanging uh, right and going north. You eventually came to a room where you found... Uh, Gorn and Iron Eye and Rella were apparently interrogating Vin, who was uh, chained to a chair. Yeah, busted in there in classic hero style. Uh, killed Rella and Ivan. Gorn uh, managed to get away, but you did rescue Vin. And that was where we left him off. Oh, you have a uh, injured Vin. And some corpses. Uh, yeah. You're alive! Uh, barely. I'll cast heal on him. He heals using a recovery plus six. Sure. Zia's wounds start any other. Ready? Can you walk that laddie? I think so. What, what, what about the other one? What about that guy? He, he got away. Oh, we sent the uh, wolf man after him. Oh, Jesus. you, you got to be careful with those bastards. The, the, I don't think they were putting anything into that. Yeah. Yeah, what the, what the heck is going on here? Uh, well, uh, to be honest, are you going to show him that ring you got? Uh, he has the ring. It's on my finger, playing with it. Right. Where did you get that? Oh, I got it from my furnace full of souls. There is a long and justifiable pause after this statement. <laughs> what? Oh, uh, alright, so there was this place in this very mining lane, like about, how long would you say a trip would be? Like five 10, minutes? 15 10, minutes walk? About 15 it's actually quite far. And there was this, uh, this, uh, furnace, and these, uh, what's the best word I can describe them as? Dicks? Shadows? No, the, the, the people that were just killed. Oh, yeah. Well, the Iron Hunts. The Iron Hunts. They showed a whole bunch of shadows, people that they, I don't have no idea why they did that. Anyways, they got, like, this big thing, they showed all yeah, of them there. Roll me an intelligence check. Thank you. Oh, 17 on die. Sure. Uh, you suspect they probably bound their spirits to prevent necromancy that allows you to speak with the dead. Mm. To prevent someone from being able to interrogate them from beyond there. Mm. Yeah, they so why were we able to speak with them? Because you were right next to the furnace where they are. And oh, you broke right. the enchantment that was preventing them from speaking. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, anyway, so I set them all free. We looked inside and saw this room inside. Hmm. Well, I... Well, being able to see through walls sort of comes in handy in the mind, I'd say. Ah, uh, you know, imagine it would, yeah. So, um, did you find anything out about these guys? Oh, I got this, uh, uh just, <coughs> get the, uh, bird book we just got recently. <laughs> All right, you. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah. Well, we got this. He takes it from me. Just looking through it. Looks like he's contemplating something. Not sure what. 
It says, he takes out a pen and says, um, do you mind if I make some notes? In? You can stop get a scrap piece of paper. Oh, all right. <laughs> Uh, and find a piece of paper on the other side of the bit of chopping this on it. <laughs> it is burnt, we are not sure exactly how much damage the thing would do. Mm -hmm. He's going to start scribbling things on that piece of paper. Mostly, it looks like he's copying out some of the, the family tree that was in there. Mm -hmm. uh, however, as he's copying it out, you can see all the parts where originally it was just showing like a solid line of like a continuous succession of people. Uh, he started adding extra branches to it here and there, and he started um, some of the lines connecting them, he's put question marks next to them. Specifically the ones pertaining to like these uh, four of them that you encountered in the mine. Oh, so this thing is incomplete. Mm -hmm. So why are you putting question marks? I'm not... I don't think this works the way we thought it did. Uh, I don't know how much you know about them, and it's not safe to know too much about them. Oh. So as much as we know, there are two immortal things that one of them gives birth to the other, and... Well, okay, things. so you do know <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, as far as we could... Uh, initially, what we thought was that when one of them gave birth to the other, that the old one died or lost their memories of the like. But that's not the case. Every single one of them remembers seemingly everything. Hmm. But as far as I can tell, it's not... A hive mind. I think what happens is whenever a new one is born, it gets all the memories of all of its previous copies. Which means the younger they are, the more dangerous they are. Hmm. So we killed just the two most dangerous ones, I guess? Possibly. They were, well, by human standards, you would consider them like 30 ish. So what you're saying is that the old ones will not have the memories of the young ones? Correct. Well, they'd have some of them ones from previous lifetimes of their own, but yeah. not anything they learned in their own life. Which is actually somewhat to our benefit, because if we can strike down that last one and bring them down, they won't know we're here. Well, uh, if the uh, Nasus shadow things turned around my bay, they'd probably be looking for them and be a little bit angry. Shadow things? Oh, yes, uh, around the... Uh, I didn't tell you that. This was like the shadow. You furnace. mentioned spirits in a furnace. Oh, yeah, I, I must have forgotten part of that part. So, like, there's this big shadow. There's this big mass of uh, shadow creatures that want to eat the souls, but couldn't get inside, mm -hmm. and then waiting it for seems like a very, very long time. They're very hungry. Mm -hmm. We managed to distract them with an illusion, and got all the little spirits out. Are you sure they're not under the Iron Pot's control? Then? They didn't seem like it. They didn't seem like as if they were just really hungry. Why wouldn't they have gotten rid of them? Well, no matter. We have more important things to worry about right now. Yeah, he shows you the genealogy and he circles the sort of the place where it shows the man and woman having had an offspring. That's a question mark. He circles this and he says, originally we just we just suspected that one of these things had come around, but I think it's here in the mind somewhere. So they had a kid, and they left it in the mine? They didn't have a kid, they had a monster. A uh, kid who is a monster? No, a monster. It's not a dwarf, it's something else. I, I was more imagining the, the rhetorical version of a monster, like a really, really mean being. No, it's literal. I think, I think what it is, is... Something gave them this ability to keep living forever. And I think it's it did it to continue its own life in the same way. I think the reason they hate each other doesn't have anything to do with their own personalities. It's like a defense mechanism to stop them from making more of this thing. Mm. Yeah. You hungry? Yes. Tom, get, get the next door some food. <laughs> He begins pillaging your back. Okay. Mmm, <laughs> jeez. Mmm, <laughs> stale bread. <laughs> Delicious stale bread. You think you'd be able to help us get out of this mine, though? Uh, maybe. Uh, I didn't have... I didn't see a lot of it when they dragged me in here, but I, they dragged me in from down up that way. Mm. Oh, this, this is a good place to start. What do you think? Yeah, sure. I, I'm not sure we should leave, though, I think. 
this thing that if it is down here, we we need to get rid of it. All right. Okay, well, that's... I suppose we should start making a perimeter. Sure. Define what you mean by that. <laughs> well, I suppose circle around the outside and then uh, okay. keep going in. Sure. So where would you like to go? Off the way, Gorman? Well, I guess we'll go this way over to here. Through here else. or up to the top? Because there's a door over there. Oh, all right. We'll investigate that first. All right. Let's look where that door leads. It's up here to what looks like a small alchemical shop. There's a desk with a bunch of beakers and bottles and stuff on it, and there's a big cauldron on the floor. Filled or empty? The cauldron is empty. There are uh, there is a bottle on the desk though. No, it looks like a potion of some kind. Yes, you definitely need to get a closer look at this. It is a potion of blending. Uh, drinking this potion creates a minor psychic illusion in the minds of everyone around you, causing them to believe that you are utterly unimportant, harmless, and boring, allowing you to simply fade into the background of any group of people. Everything and everyone around you being subjected to this effect appears in washed out shades of grey. However, the illusion is not perfect. The longer someone observes you, the more it will wear away, and eventually the effect will break for that person. No, well, I know the first thing I'm going to do is to so if you don't draw too much attention to yourself, people will ignore you later. So it's like a perception filter. Kind of, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, the first thing I'm definitely going to do immediately is look for someone that is seemingly unimportant, harmless and boring. <laughs> There's no need. <laughs> yeah, I think we'd notice if another person was right here with us, right, Bob? <laughs> Isn't that right, Tom? Guy who no one pays attention to. <laughs> then Tom kicked. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I was mentioning Bob, the guy who's been with us all this whole time. <laughs> that guy in the hooded white cloak. <laughs> yeah. He always just seems so harmless. <laughs> Uh, you can suss out by like taking the potion, taking a smell of it, and whatnot, and you can tell that uh, it's the same stuff that was previously in a cauldron. So someone made a cauldron of all this stuff. There's a lot of this potion up there. Hmm. Probably should think of a way to counteract this. You could. Intelligence roll. Uh, if you want to try and think about an antidote for it, yeah. Crit. <laughs> all right. Yeah. You you think you could work something up? You could make a basically a counteracting potion. Probably using the materials in that lab. I'll say with the crit, you know what you could do with the stuff kicking around in this lab and some of the stuff you found in that, those boxes and stuff mm-hmm. off of the brewing equipment. Mm-hmm. Cool. Would you like to cook up a batch of it? Yes, yes. Alright, it'll take you a couple minutes, but not too bad. Uh, it's basically sort of the equivalent of, um, almost kind of like the equivalent of being hit with a flashbang. When you drink it or it gets under your skin, it creates a overpowering rush of sensation. you basically spiking all of your senses up intensely, but only for like a second. But long enough that your perception of everything around you is enough to pierce that potion's effect. And then it'll wear off on them. So if you drank one of these or sprayed it on somebody, it would basically break any blending illusions on them for that person. Mm. It smells mildly like cheddar and tunes. <laughs> sure. <laughs> More cheddar than Petunia. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to do? Come to the table? Nothing really there other than screwed up scraps of like paper and whatnot. None of it looks pretty good important if you take them and look through it. Looks like someone was working on a formula for that potion. Like just doing it long hand. Yeah. Alright, are we done here? I suppose so. Hmm? Are we done How about... Out here and here. And we can look this way if it's dead in or not. There's another junction. Uh, going down here, you can slide passage out that way. We're getting pretty close to where we last saw the shadows. Mm-hmm. That was down that way. Yeah. We should probably look in here. In here? Mm-hmm. Sure. Uh, the tracks on the floor actually do have switching stations that allow the tracks to go into this room. If they go along the floor across a pair of circular, of the same rotating panels for rotating mine cars. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's also a large panel uh, against one wall, which is covered in switches and buttons and levers. Uh, it looks like this is a switching station for all the rail tracks. Alright. You say there's buttons and levers? Oh yeah. I'm going to fool with them. Sure. 
As you pull one of the levers, you hear a loud clanking noise coming from somewhere off to the east. Which way's east? That way. Fiddling with other ones, you can hear clanks and clatters coming from all over the place. I'd imagine that they control these things. Yeah. They control the floor spinners and the track, the uh, track directions. Um, whenever you pull on one of these things, it emits like a loud squeak, like they haven't really been used in years. So they're making noise? Oh, they're making yeah, tons of noise. Let's get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Where would you like to go? Uh, let's go down this way, I'm thinking. Okay. I'd like all of you to roll me a wisdom check. Great. Uh, 13. Uh, Perry, you notice something in the hallway up here? Uh, which is shimmering in the air. Some sort of weird, almost like a cloud or something, almost invisible. Mm, I guess I should just try to spritz some stuff on it. Spritz what kind of stuff on it? The, uh, the, the anti-blending. Uh, you spray that on a person oh. to make the effect, them stop being subjected to the effect. Okay, now I'll spritz it on myself. Like if there was a blended person in the room, you could spray it on yourself to make you able to see them. No. I do that. Right? Uh, nothing happens. Mm. It's not like a blended person. This is some sort of, you would guess it's a ward of some kind. Is it meant to repel or... An alarm of some sort. Give me an archive check. Uh, intelligence plus magic. 19 on the die. Alright, I may confiscate that die from you, but. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Crip Pants. Hey, this is the die that you gave me. Is it? Yeah, it's the black set. Oh, neat. Didn't give it that set up, apparently. <laughs> uh, you think this is some sort of legal word? A lethal war? Yeah, I think if you walked across it, it would do horrendous things to you. <sighs> do we want to disarm it? it? Or maybe is there... Also, however, do you recognize that it functions no matter which way you walk across it? So this is both meant to keep people out and keep possibly something in. But it's not covering the entrance. It's just covering this one way. Hmm. I'm wondering if maybe we can walk around yeah. and see if it's on the other side. Do you want to do that? Okay. You find another one. Ah. Ah, of course. I'm going to spend the stone song room, right. uh, the recharge six, to look okay. through the wall right here. And see what's right. on the other side. Uh, corridor. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Should have used it on the other side. Also see. Next to the ground. The entire corridor is lined with runes. Scratched along the walls, ceilings, and floor. All of them look like words. This is going to take hours to discern. Oh yeah. I have a feeling I have found out where they're keeping their little uh, demon baby. Sussing out the words though, these ones, it looks like most of them wouldn't affect people. Hmm. Those two clouds would, and there's a couple in the hallway that would. But most of them look like they're keyed to something else. Something demonic. Mm -hmm. I'm suddenly reminded <laughs> of... Uh, <laughs> Because if you want to walk into that probably would be a bad thing. You know, just just like bring it over like right now. Just you know, be Tom's just it. like, yeah, I've got, but I'd rather not take the chances. I don't remember who my dad was. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew him. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know. I've committed sins against nature. Um, repeatedly and with great enthusiasm. I mean, what what, what would you call this thing? Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, you're more progressive than most. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll. Uh, I'm subtly reminded of the uh, labyrinth of Minos. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I am uh, going to try to disarm this ward, huh? The cloud one. Yeah. Sure. I guess I'll use this die since it's on a roll. Which one are you going for, anyway? This one. Sure. Twelve on the die. Let's see what this adds up to. 24. Alright. The cloud begins moving toward you. Uh, that's... <laughs> that's... That's, 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 What would you two like to do? Run. <laughs> Back away. How fast is it moving? Uh, it's drifting at a somewhat lazy pace. Mm -hmm. uh, it would be not too difficult to jog and keep out of the way of it. Okay. I have an idea. Mm -hmm. We'll go here, see if it goes this way, or this way, or this way, or just stops. Sure. Which way do you, do you go? Uh, split up. Okay. Yeah, let's we'll split the party. Here. Okay. Parry which way you want. 
And actually, this is a bad idea. We'll just go this way. Yeah. Splitting the party is a bad idea? No. <laughs> We're so hoping you do that. <laughs> and then one of us is going to get attacked by shadows. Yeah. <laughs> Shocking, that. Uh, the cloud follows you. Hmm. All right. Is it sentient? You have no idea. When it gets closer, does it slow down? Nope. Mm. Moves at the same rate. Well... I we suggest we just loop around. Yeah, well, if we do that, we'll get trapped. Mm. I would like to take this moment to offer prayer for the sentient cloud. Don't try to stop it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, guys, it looks like that thing is not going away. Someone's going to have to get out there and appease the sentient cloud, or we're all going to have our skin flayed off. <laughs> 18. The cloud starts moving faster. <laughs> <laughs> you now have to actually jog to keep, out of, to keep ahead of it. <laughs> Would you like to continue jogging? Yes. Good. Uh, I assume you don't want to go into the dead-ended section of this corridor. Nope. So let's go on down there. Do you want to go into the room where you uh, sure. spoke the thing? Sure, there's more uh, room to move, I suppose. Yeah, we can try running around it. <laughs> Glow cloud. Right. And you run into the room. The cloud follows you. <laughs> I got it. We'll go through there, and we'll close the door. And out of the other side of the hallway, you can see the other cloud appears. Oh. See when you in the room between two clouds. <laughs> Looks like when you activated one, they both started moving. <laughs> ah, you just couldn't see the other one. <laughs> the right side is out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't have any ideas. Uh, did, did both clouds stop? No, they're still moving towards you. Okay, so we can just go around okay, them and out it. the room. I got it. We'll wait till they get close, we'll run out of the way and have them collide. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. like that game of Daleks. <laughs> Alright. Uh, roll me, I guess, a dex check to do that carefully, like to actually rub them, run it that close. Dex check is not that bad. Spoiled well, rich kid. Sure. War veteran. Oh yeah. I got a seventeen. You got a four. <laughs> Just add it up. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> sure, you can add it up if you want. Twelve. Alright. <laughs> So, we get the face full of death bars. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh wait, this is a skill check, right? Yes. Yeah, so I have plus one to that 18. Yeah, you made it fine. Yeah. He didn't. The wizard failed the dex check. Shot. Uh, you get clipped by just the corner of it catching you, and you take 15 points of damage. Whew. Acid damage. Uh, your elbow is burning quite painfully. Uh, How bad are you? The two clouds do collide together, though, and become a very big cloud. Ah, oh, lovely. On the bright side, we only have to avoid one big cloud instead of two. It's less to, it's less to keep her tension on. I shoot things I don't understand with my javelin of fate. Sure, roll it. <laughs> All right, so that's uh, 18 versus physical defense. All right, you hit a cloud. Sort of starts burning away, mm -hmm. and the cloud gets smaller. Should I uh, roll damage? Uh, sure. Oh. Uh, should I roll uh, an extra d6 because it's undamaged? Sure. Alright, so that's 18 holy damage. Alright. Cloud is smaller. But right. still coming towards Magic missile. Okay. That doesn't do anything. <laughs> ah. Passes right clean through. Mm. I see. So let's, uh, let's see. Damage. Hmm. Uh, you would get. You can tell. Um, looking at this thing, it moved out of the way of the magic missiles, which should automatically hit things. You would guess it was specifically ordered to evade that spell. Hmm. I shoot it with my javelin of faith again. Sure. First, you can roll a dex check. All right. It's still coming towards you. I got a sixteen this time, so that's even yeah. higher. I got sixteen. All right. It. Uh, Flips past you and you manage to avoid it. <laughs> Would you like to uh, run anywhere or? Yes, we're going to run through here and close the door. There's no door, it's just an opening. But I thought there was a door there. That's an opening. I meant there was a passageway there. Oh, okay. There, there aren't any doors anywhere in this building mm -hmm. or anywhere in the mines. 
Well, we're definitely not going through this way because that's dead end. <laughs> Go this way. Right. And uh, maybe I'll. Oh, lovely. He put a big S there. Yep. Hey, you remember how you're going this way, which is next to that place where you're making a shit ton of noise a minute ago? Yeah, there's a bunch of shadows there. <laughs> Have they spotted us yet? Oh, yeah. Okay. Are they running towards us? Yup. How close is the cloud? That's right behind you. We'll go this way. Let them collide into each other. Well, first you get a roll dish. I got 18. I rolled two tens on my Yeah, let's see, that is 19. The shadows act first on 20. Oh. Beat the cloud, though. <laughs> That's nice. Well, the cloud's initiative is get acts at the end of the initiative order. So. <laughs> it's not that impressive. <laughs> Alrighty. Some shadows are going to run up and engage you. It's going to go for Doc. It's 25 versus your AC. Yeah, it hits. You take 14 points of damage. Alrighty. Paragraph. You have shadows engaged with you and a cloud closing in behind you. Oh. Shocking grass, would it work against, you know, masses of creatures? Yeah, it's it's basically just a mass of shadow stuff. In that case, I'm definitely going to try to do a shocking grass. Alright. Uh, Nineteen versus physical defense. Yep. Okay. They are popped free from me. Mm -hmm. I take two damage on me. Okay. If I remember right, the shadow creature is not very smart, right? No. Very good. In that case, I will run this way. Okay. Hopefully Doc will follow me. Go follow me, right? Yeah, I'm uh, disengaged as well. Yeah. Alrighty. Yeah, I fire a sh javelin of faith at the uh, shadows behind. Okay. As I'm running backwards. 14 versus physical defense. Yep. Alrighty. And that's, ooh, that's nice. 20 holy damage. Cool. And uh, does anyone need heals? Hey, no, wait. Mm. How bad are you? Just 15 damage. Alright. The cow drifts over to you guys. You both need to make a dex check. Okay. 18 on the die. 16 on the die. Okay. You're both fine. Shadows. They're going to try and follow you and walk into the cloud. They take 49 damage. And die. <laughs> Does the cloud get bigger or smaller? It gets bigger. Mm. Let's see. Let's see, too soon it also turns a little black. Yeah. It's not moving as fast, though. Perhaps it's full. Loaded, if you will. <laughs> ah, I got it. We'll feed it so much stuff that it can't move. You see, the sentient cloud has a preset kill limit. Knowing their weakness, I've said wave after wave of my own men that this yeah, kills us. <laughs> Where would you like to go down? You got a cloud following you still. Away from the cloud. Alright. Uh, we'll... Up or down at this junction? Uh, we'll go this way. Okay. We'll pick up some of the crates and throw it at the cloud. Okay. Uh, does it throw a crate into the cloud against bigger? Slower? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, plan B, more javelin of faith, if you can. Alrighty, <laughs> I keep shooting at it with the javelin of faith, should I roll attack? Yep. Uh, yeah, uh, 19 versus physical defense. Yep. Right. You keep smiling. And you can both roll me next year. Okay. Still got 17. Okay. I don't think you did what so well. What do I add on a test check? Just do I add 30 plus a level. Oh, at a level. Plus if good. you think one of them applies. Plus level, gotcha. Okay, yeah, so 15. Okay. You both hate cloud. <laughs> the doom cloud. <laughs> Where is that to go now? Where? Just keep running in a circle. Okay. <laughs> Until it disappears from enough jam on face. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say, given the running around willy nilly, uh, you guys are fleeing against something that's trying to kill you. I'm gonna ask both of you to roll intelligence checks to not get lost or take a wrong turn. Sixteen on the die. Good. I crit failed. <laughs> Follow me, you'll be fine. You get separated. <laughs> you hit a junction, one of you turns, the other doesn't, and the cloud follows Perry. 
and leaves Doc uh, <laughs> off on his own. <laughs> You cloud duck. <laughs> well, that's. Uh... So, how lost am I? Uh, not terribly, you're just on the other side of the cloud. Okay, so I can just shoot at it while it's chasing Perry. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this is only mildly worse. Yeah. <laughs> Perry, roll a deck check. <laughs> and roll your job with a deck. <laughs> Because now you have a chance of hitting Perry if you miss. <laughs> no, okay. Oh, wait, no, that thing doesn't hit Alice. Yeah, well, uh, 18 right. versus physical defense. Yeah. Is it safe to assume that it is 16 damage? It's safe to damage. Is it safe to assume that Tom and I are just sitting somewhere nearby just watching this madness? No, Tom's with you. He's terrifiedly <laughs> running for his life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he seems slightly more nimble than you at getting out of the way of the cloud, though. What happened to Vin? Oh, I'll drink Good a question of blood. <laughs> Alright, drink that? Yeah. Alright, the clock stops. I'll just go away. <laughs> <laughs> you have left a cloud floating here. Eventually you guys can wander around and meet up again. Somewhere over there. <laughs> hey Tom, did you see where the other dwarf went? Oh yeah, he, he's with you, I was just correct. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright, where would you like to go now? Over here, maybe? Sure. Back to the room full of the corridor full of wards. Mm -hmm. Alright, the first one you see that's a problem is this one here. Mm. It doesn't look too difficult to disable, but it looks like some kind of alarm that's triggered if anything goes across it. Mm. I see. And yeah, wards is not count as everyone. Right? No, it's a mental effect that that potion generates. Right. By the way, Tom, where's Perry? <laughs> <laughs> Who's, who's this chump? <laughs> yeah, you're pretty sure. You know, Perry's a lot less interesting than you remember him being. <laughs> Seems really quiet. Yeah. Kind of unimportant. <laughs> Alright, I'll uh, turn this off. Wait, it's just an alarm, right? Yep. Hmm. The apocalypse question if you care about setting it off. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, I can try. If it fails. I just assumed that I meant to do that. Okay. Two. <laughs> Die. <laughs> well added up, but I don't favor your chances here. <laughs> he accidentally overpowered it and suddenly it's flaring <laughs> louder, shaking the entire mind. Mike collapses on you. Fourteen. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, the ward does go away. So you're like, oh, awesome. <laughs> See, I disabled the woman. It's perfect. You don't hear any noise or anything like that. I'm going to come back out here. Okay. Put a ward, uh, an alarm here, here, and here. Sure. Just in case the clouds come back. Okay. <laughs> uh, if you go down this little corridor over here, let's switch back this way. And follow me along. You can find a couple of other minor little wards and stuff. You work out ways to get it around them. I'm not going to make you roll for all of these things. Because, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Or if you was at home, I guess you were a pentagon. Pentagram. <laughs> Pentagram. <laughs> pentagon is very different. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so you enter this room. You can see just scores of wards etched all over the floor, wall, ceiling, everywhere. You can see um, strings have been strung across like the open air with pieces of paper attached to them with more wards written on them. <laughs> and uh, in the center of a large pentagram on the floor, you can see what looks like a cocoon. Ah, oh, I see. I vote we shoot things we don't understand. <laughs> wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. This could blow up in our face. Mm, entirely possible. <sighs> well, Ivan, we found it. Uh, Ivan was one of the evil guys. Oh, Vin. 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 <laughs> Vin. <laughs> well, Vin, we found it. <laughs> uh, it looks like it. Alright, now how do we get rid of it? <laughs> Well, all, all these wards, I imagine, are to either stop it or try to kill it, right? Possibly. I'm so, not sure what relationship they have with this thing. Well, if we find out, and if it is designed to try and kill it, we could try to just set them off. Could try that. So, we're going to try to suss out what they do. Hmm. It doesn't, I'm not going to make a roll for this. Uh, pretty much all of them are potently lethal spells. Hmm. Alright. There's also another alarm. 
So who's who's up for uh, just trying to set off the alarms from the safe, the set off the wards from the safe distance? Uh, yeah, you go right on that, buddy. I'll just be uh, out here. <laughs> I don't think you're far enough. <laughs> Maybe over here. How are you planning to set off said wards? Chuck a baseball at them? <laughs> <laughs> you think they'd do it? <laughs> yeah. Dom, get the baseball. <laughs> Tom says, provided I'm not required to throw it, sure. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Hopefully, when this triggers... <laughs> Tom is going to go over here. <laughs> On the other side of the mine. <laughs> I'm going to set up a little uh, device. You know, like a mini catapult of sorts. <laughs> Alright. Um, using uh, some... I think Tom has a crossbow in his back. Yeah, he's bringing carry around. Oh, uh, I was just going to use some underwear. <laughs> sure. <laughs> underwear, well, this day, sure. Just like bring it in, cock it, aim it to a certain point. Okay. And uh, tie a string, put it down, you know, like uh, meld it to the floor or something. Sure. Like magic. And get a candle, mm -hmm. you know, place it. The classic. Precariously underneath the string. You don't want to do the classic, just lean the candle against the string and let it just burn down while the thing touches it? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> you know, the way that particular timer actually is used. <laughs> I'll do that. <laughs> just light the candle and book it. How far would you like to book it? <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> right. You gonna go stand with Tom? Sure. Yeah, I run to follow. The, uh, I run to follow Perry uh, as soon as he. I see him. Leave. As you see him book it past <laughs> you, you're like, wizard run. Uh, you evidently, I should be this close. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> is that a mind collapse? We'll see what that is. <laughs> Excuse me while I erase a large section of this map. <laughs> Hopefully this is not a bad thing. It's probably a bad thing. <laughs> well, you can roll me a saving throw. I pass. Uh, saving throw to what? Oh, just a saving throw. Saving throw, it's a flat roll. Okay, I fail. What did you get, uh, Doc? Uh, 18. Okay. I got a 6. <laughs> takes a while to erase. <laughs> uh, an absolutely echoing series of booms uh, resounds throughout the entire uh, mine complex. Uh, Doc, you are merely dazed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're successful hard save. Perry? <laughs> you take 20 points of thunder damage okay. and are stunned. <laughs> He's a heal now. Mm. Only for a turn. Tom is unconscious. <laughs> Vin is on the ground holding his ears. <laughs> and uh, you can see piles of rubble. Uh, scored about everywhere, pretty much. Uh, however, you can see from the end of that ho hallway you just ran down, you can see daylight. <laughs> <laughs> we blew a hole to the very, into the very top of the mountain. Well, you blew a hole to the surface. Yeah. I got 3 HP. Alrighty, I give him a heal as soon as possible. Use a recovery plus 6. <laughs> you also then hear a massive shrieking noise. Does it sound like the shadows? Nope. Does it sound possibly like a gigantic monster demon baby being destroyed? Destroyed? No. Made very angry, yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it's coming your way. <laughs> New plan. Like it. <laughs> Looks like it's in a lot of, sounds like it's in a lot of pain. <laughs> yes, but about a lot of our party is uh, right now, like you, how much health do you have? Three. You guys could heal up. Okay. What the heck are those things? I'm not sure. Let's go down there and investigate. I guess. <laughs> All right. Well, if we don't have anything better to do. Should we start rolling initiative? Sure. This is a demon. <laughs> I got an eight. 
27. Far <laughs> riding over there, can you cast a blur on myself? Yep. Excellent. Hey, uh, you got any of that potion left, laddie? Uh, there was a bottle. bottle. Fresh <laughs> it. I do have a lot of the uh, the anti stuff. If you want to have a spritz of it, I don't think that'll be. I'm not sure why you're talking to this guy. He's such a worthless peon. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably not important what he's doing. <laughs> That's the fun part of that potion. It works on your allies too. <laughs> uh, in fact, you don't really think he's worth healing. <laughs> Alright. Uh, as you guys head down this corridor and uh, poke your way into what looks like a blown open cavernous space open to the sky, you can see an enormous thing. It's not quite a demon. It looks like an almost like a giant insect of some kind. It's got big jutting mandibles out of it, but it also has demonic horns. Uh, it has strange wings, which look like they're bent and not quite formed correctly. It looks like you like you busted this thing out of some sort of cocoon, like it wasn't done metamorphosizing. Yeah. Uh, it's quite hideous to look at. There's like one of its arms is bigger than the other. Its legs are malformed. Its chest is sort of twitching in and out, like it's not breathing correctly. Uh, you can see there are burned scars and holes pierced through it all over the place. Uh, you can also see several glowing symbols on the floor okay. uh, of the blown open area. It looks like they're some sort of residual wards. Uh, okay. Uh, does anyone know what the heck those things are? Perry, you're up first. <laughs> Perry, you think those are zones of protection, maybe? But you're not sure, because each of them looks different. They all give off similar magical signatures, but you think some of them might be tricks. They might be protection wards. Mm -hmm. Emphasis on might. I'm wondering if we can just shoot at it from the cave and... Uh... Basically what occurs to you immediately is that if someone had an intention of fighting this thing, it would make sense for them to throw up a circle or a place where they would be protected from its actions. But there's no reason why there should be five of them. Unless there's I mean, more than one person can stand in a circle. Like, they're big enough for several people to stand in. Unless each one is specified to a certain type of action. Mm, you don't think so. It wouldn't make sense to put them that far apart in that case. What you actually suspect is you think the ward that went off only generated one of these things, and the demon might have thrown the other ones down to trick people. Ah, uh, all right. Well, I guess the best choice is to figure out which one does not have demonic residual. They all do. <laughs> uh, which ones? Which ones real? Which ones fake? <laughs> What would you like to do, Perry? <laughs> Blend into the background. I'm not important. Right. I guess I'll wait. Demon is up. Demon is going to come well, over. I'll definitely walk away, though, I guess. Okay. Where are you going? Over there. Demon, demon. It's going to put a smaller symbol of an M. <laughs> this here's a monster. <laughs> it's going to engage with you and Ben. And it's actually going to attack Ben. Alrighty. Yeah, yeah, it's Ben. Slams into him. Sends him uh, greening along the wall over there. Ben looks quite hurt. Mm -hmm. He's not staggered, but he's quite hurt. Then Doc, you're up. Alrighty. You have a um, demon in your face. Yeah, would I, would I be able to like, do a wisdom check to determine what which uh, things are spathe with uh, Priest of the Tech Gods? Sure. Alright. So, 16. Hmm? Uh, you know this one? Mm -hmm. It's not safe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'll say uh, that's a minor error. Yeah. Okay. I'll try to uh, disengage from the monster. Sure. I do, right. and uh, I run down into the tunnel. Yep. And uh, can I shoot at it on my way th on my way out? Yep. Alrighty. I'm gonna use spirits of the righteous. Sure. Right. That's uh, 13 versus mental defense. Nope. Okay. Right. Well, <laughs> when uh, the ally with the fewest hit points gets plus 2 AC. That'd be done. All right. Until the end of my next turn. No damage on this? Uh, no. All right. Demon's turn. Hmm. Wait, is Finn your turn? Hmm? Finn? Or he... No, yeah. Initiative? Demon has two initiative counts. Oh. <laughs> okay. He's a bastard like that. Okay. <laughs> 
The uh, demon doesn't like people shooting at him. Uh, the demon crams itself down onto all its little skeletal legs and starts scuttling along the uh, mine shaft towards you, getting up into your face again. Oh, it's mm-hmm. being hindered by the fact that it's cramped down into a little tunnel, though, so it's mm-hmm. not swinging as easy. Mm-hmm. Uh, 23 AC. That hits. Yeah. Take 20 points of damage. Alright. This just gets you with a quick clawing spike in the face. Finn! <laughs> going to get up over here. I'm going to take out a little knife and chuck the thing. And miss horror. Mm-hmm. That's good. And parry. Okay. I'm going to try to see if this is safe. Sure. If I can. Great. Alright. You think that one might be safe? Hmm. Well, if the rest are, uh, what's the word? Fake. Fake, then it's safe to assume that the, that, that if this one's safe, I'm going to lock right in. Alright. Let's see what happens. Uh, nothing happens to you. Okay. Uh, I'm going to launch a magic missile right into the back of this demon. Sure. Alright. Ten points of... Uh, force damage. Rawr. Demo, demo, this one trying to escape from talk. Let's see. I don't like being shot at the back, shocking one. It uh, kisses at you, Perry. Starts coming up here. Finn gets in its way. Or it is swinging in. And it's going to engage Finn. Poor Finn. Yeah, Finn's staggered now. He's also over here. <laughs> he even smashes him with one big meaty clawed hand. Doc, you're up. Alright. I'm gonna shoot in the back. <laughs> Alrighty, so that's Ah great. Uh twelve versus physical defense. Nope. <laughs> Alright, it takes three damage. And I'm going to run further down the mine shaft. Okay. Oh, uh, also, if uh, Vin is nearby, I'm going to heal him. Or if I can. Uh, he's not. Okay. okay. All right. Demon is up again. Demon is going to start waving its pincers around, kicking its mandibles at you, Perry. This section of the ground starts to sink. The one around you where the uh, circle of protection is, you start sinking into the ground. Like the whole area is, like, lowering. <laughs> I see there's a loophole. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Right. Vin's turn. Vin is going to hop into the circle, jumping down into the little pit that's forming with you. Uh, right Why are you jumping into the pit? Because he doesn't want to get hit with that again. It does 20 damage and he has 50 hit points. He has 10 left. But he's <laughs> probably going to fill the hole. Maybe. <laughs> right. Finn also does not manage to hit the even on the way down. <laughs> Alright. Oh, shadows. Some shadows start coming up the uh, hallway behind you there, Doc. Mm. <laughs> eh, they have to double move to get to you, though, so you, they just engage with you. Alrighty. Perry, you are in a hole. <laughs> with exhalation, too. Yep. You know what that means. <laughs> yep. It'd be great if you had line of sight. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> nope. <laughs> You're in a pit. <laughs> Uh, um, how deep is this pit? Eh, yeah, like ten feet. It's basically just a little bit over your head. Ah, oh, that's going to be a nuisance to climb. You could probably climb a little pinched in with it. Right. Yeah, probably the circle to do it. Good. All right. Well, if I jump, can I see him? <laughs> Possibly. You'd have to roll a check. I'll try to do a check. Right, maybe I could ask Vin to boost me up. <laughs> <laughs> he spent an action elsewhere, so it's turn. <laughs> I could wait until it's... Anyway, then the game will have a chance to sink it further. Yep. I don't know, it's lying. <laughs> you don't need a big roll. Okay. Other side. Yep. Okay, color spray. I'm going to use intelligence plus the level. Crit fail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Why, is that a crit fail with one of Perry's spells I did just here? <laughs> well, magic table? Yeah. Oh, hey, that's interesting. Oh. Uh, Perry, you vanish. Just, just vanish? 
Okay. You can't see your own hands anymore. Oh. You can still see the room around you, though. Ah, so either I'm invisible or I became intangible. Quick test. You're not falling through the floor. You're solid. Invisible. So I'm unimportant and invisible. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Demon's turn. Seeing nobody in this room of any importance, he's going to... Uh, he saw you climb out of the pit, though, so he's going to leave that alone. He's going to yeah, head over toward Doc. Maybe you went that far. He might want to run through the shadows. Mm -hmm. That's a safe proposition. Mm -hmm. He was going to uh, extend one of its hands and start muttering in some guttural tongue. Wait a minute. Am I also bright light 20 meters as well? The light disappeared. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a 17 on the die. Jim's here again. You take 20 points of fire damage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and ongoing 10 fire damage. Is that your best shot? Has anyone no, investigated no, the mysterious not. hole? <laughs> not yet. Ooh. 8, 8, and 6 on the die. Yes. That's going to be a lot of damage. All right, What's his recovery? <laughs> Okay. Eight plus eight plus eight is I'm sorry, I need a calculator for this. <laughs> twenty-four if it's eight eight eight. Eight. Okay, twenty-four plus six is uh thirty. So I get back thirty damage. Okay. Alrighty. And it's now your turn. Alrighty. Um hmm. I'm oh and I take the ongoing at the beginning. Uh, no, you get to act, and then you take on going, then you won't save against it. Oh, okay, so I'm going to, uh, try to hit, uh, one of the guys with my hammer. Okay. If you have attacked with a weapon this turn, you allow an ally to roll a save against ongoing save ends effect. For the liberation hammer. Mm -hmm. Would that work? Uh, sure. Alright, so... 21 versus AC. On the shadow guns? Yeah. Yep. Ready? Uh, that's 12 damage. And I'll roll a save against the ongoing. I fail. Alright. Take your ongoing and then roll a save again here. Damn it. Alright. <laughs> Demon. He's gonna go up and engage with Perry. Or not with Perry, sorry. Doc. Didn't he get disengaged? Oh, right. I'll try to disengage from the... <laughs> shadows. Through the shadows, I guess. Alright, 12. I disengage. Alright. Take 10 points of uh, cold damage mm -hmm. going through the shadows. Which means the demon is not going to engage with you. It's going to extend its little hand and try to shoot fire at you. Hmm, that might actually miss. That is only 20 versus your AC. Alright, it takes. Alright. Bolt of fire at it. You manage to duck out of the way and skips off your shield. And melts part of the wall. <laughs> Does it hit a shadow instead? No. <laughs> Finn's turn. Let's climb out of the hole. And this way. Shadows. Don't engage with Perry. Doc. Or Doc, sir. 20 versus your physical defense. That hits. Alright. Uh, you take 10 points of cold damage and you are stuck mm -hmm. as they start wrapping around you. Alrighty. Perry. Okay, okay. Uh, operation Annoy the Demon. Magic Missile. Okay. 11 force damage and 6 necrotic. Okay. I imagine my invisibility disappears. Nope. Oh. Your bloody potion breaks, though. Oh. You've officially done too many things to track his attack. Breaks on the demon, anyway. Doc still thinks you're unimportant. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you can see. Also, when you uh, muttered and chanted, you didn't hear anything. Oh. You appear to be silent as well. Huh. Demon boy! Demon boy, I'm going to come up right there. No, my luck, I'm probably going to stay like this just long enough for Doc to take all the credit. <laughs> Or die. <laughs> or die. <laughs> I only have 19 health left. <laughs> yeah, here's hoping you don't die. The demon is actually going to attack the shadows. Oh. And start tearing bits of them out. And start eating them. Oh crap, is it getting health? You're not sure. Doc. Am I still stuck? Yeah. Okay, is there any way for me to get out? No, uh, save me. Okay. Alright, I've already used my melee attack. Um, oh well, I guess that's all I can really do now. Ooh, crit! Alright, oh, nice. Double damage. Ready? Right. So that's 14 damage. Times 2? 
or no, just uh, seven times two. I'm gonna say as you swing your hammer, a holy light flares out of it, and you can hear a what sounds like chanting mm -hmm. of like dwarven priests in the back of your mind. Yeah, and uh, your ongoing effects end. All right, lovely. You get a priestess boat. Demons to things that eats more shadows. <laughs> no, 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 no. Also, I'm going to heal myself as a miner. The shadows are staggered. Vins to down hallway. He's going to throw a knife at the back of the demon. Hit it. Uh, Vin takes a silver knife from his coat and chucks it at the demon. It embeds in the back of it and starts glowing with bright light. The demon shrieks loudly. And then it's the shadow's turn. They're going to try and get away from the thing that's eating them. <laughs> They're going to succeed. The shadow is flattening against the wall and it passed you up. Alrighty. They go around the corner this way. I'm not sure where they went exactly. Mm -hmm. They go out of sight. Perry. Okay, I'm going to get just close enough to try this course for me again. Uh, that's a hell of a run. Does it take you to move actually there and then maybe get there where you're in? Okay, I'll get close enough with one move in this magic missile. Sure. <laughs> Watch your bolts of force come down from the hallway. You're mm -hmm. not sure what that's about, but they're mm -hmm. staggeringly unimpressive. Yeah. <laughs> like that's, very shoddily made bolts. That's uh, 11 uh, force damage. Right? You bet whatever mage made those sucked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 18 on the perception check. The demon knows somebody's over there. He's tired of having magical bolts stuck in his butt. But the only person he sees is Vin. <laughs> Damn, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, he hits uh, Vin. <laughs> Vin is sent careening down the hallway. Oh crap. Hey Perry. Yeah? Roll a dex check. 17 on the dot. Alright. You get out of the way. <laughs> In time for you to see Vin go sailing past you, hit the back wall of that pit that was forming, and fall into it. He looks very battered and not moving. <laughs> At least he's in the at least he's in the protection circle. This is true. <laughs> Doc. Am I uh, disengaged with the monster? Yep. Alrighty, I'm gonna shoot it in the back. <laughs> that seems to have worked so far. <laughs> Alrighty. Seventeen on the die. Right. Ooh, two sixes and a two. Alright, uh so eighteen holy damage. And I'm gonna book it after the shadows, saying, wait for me! Wait for me, I also don't want to get eaten. <laughs> and they become friends. As you go around the corner, you don't see the shadows anymore. Okay. Demon! Hmm. Well, it's, you didn't notice Perry, or something over there shooting bolts at it. And he turns around, he doesn't see Doc anywhere. So he's gonna go back the way he had. came. Looking for delicious, delicious Vin. Vin bleeds. For his turn. <laughs> there. Since one of you is running away. <laughs> what ask escalation is that? Hmm? Escalation is at four. Okay. It didn't increase because one of you is running away. <laughs> oh. Which means you can still use color spray, right? That seems game break. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to go over here as close as I can. To pit, but without actually falling because I need line of sight. Okay. I'm going to use color spray. Yep. And as soon as I can, I'm going to hop in and try to fix Vin up. Mm. Hop in the pit or stand on the edge of the pit? Uh, well, my next turn I'm going to hop okay. 15 on the die. 27 versus no defense. Yep. Okay. Uh, 14 psychic damage. Alrighty. Target is below 20 HP, weak until the end of my next turn. It is. Okay. It is, however, staying. Alright. Demon's turn. That time it noticed. Spotted where you were by the sudden kaleidoscope of colors that appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> it's gonna take a swing in your face. <laughs> does take a penalty because you're invisible. Oh, 24 versus AC? Shield. Right? 21 AC. Okay, it's. <laughs> The attack bonus is plus oh, wait, uh, blur. I rolled to 20% chance it could just miss. Sure. Oh, it misses. Okay. Doc. Uh, do 
I store the view shield? Because that seems like a waste of Blurr's effect. Blur, I think Blur will just send it. Okay. I try to go as far as I can back into the crater area. This is a double move? Yeah, that's a double move. Yeah. These tunnels are actually very long. Demon again. I'm going to try and hate you. It's going to hate you. 100%. Yeah. One and a two. <laughs> Doing well. Well, it's Perry's turn. Okay, I'm going to hop into the pit. Disengage? Yep, yeah. right, disengage. Chopping grasp. Okay. 19 on the die. Uh-huh. 5 lightning damage. Okay. Perhaps a bit. It is bleeding very, very badly. Yes, I'm going to definitely going to try and heal him. Okay. Do I roll or. It's a wisdom check. Wisdom check. Who knows? Uh, Part time pitching keeper might apply. Some first aid is assumed in that. Uh-huh. Dwarves are kind of like pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> sure. They both make squawking noises, basically the same thing. Twelve. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking bad. Demon is going to start making the pit sink some more. Then it's Doc's turn. Alright, I'm gonna double move again. Or, yeah, I'm double moving. And uh, as a miner, I'm gonna see if can I heal uh, Vin? Uh, you can't see him. The pit sunk even further. Ah, oh, damn. It's now like a 20 foot pit. Okay. Well, I'm gonna try to hide, like, I'm just gonna try to hide, like, in that corner there. Sure. Roll me dexter. Plus four veteran, I guess. Okay. Stealthy. Alright, that's, uh, 18. Alright. I think you're well and good hidden. Demon's turn again. Uh, the demon's going to start making top of the pit close. This is gonna suck. Looks like it's trying to entomb you. It's sort of a shelf of rock closing over you. <laughs> There you go. Well, joke's on him. I have the tip of that dragon claw. <laughs> Just the tip. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna try to heal him again. Is this a minor action or standard? Uh, you roll, if you roll really well, it's a minor action. Okay, I'm going to use the black d20. Uh, sorry, you uh, <laughs> pre rolled all the crits on that. You used all the luck up. <laughs> Perry, continue, uh, uh, Perry continues flailing against Din's chest, not quite remembering his first day. <laughs> you just punch them repeatedly, right? And then they get up. <laughs> it Come works on, for Daddy. Remember all that time I remember all those times I patched you up? <laughs> Vividly. Sometimes the whole nights can go by, which I don't wake up screaming remembering that. <laughs> Little sliver of daylight left as the demon continues closing the roof over you. Oh. All right, I'm going to uh, shoot at the demon from my vantage point. Sure. Thirty. All right, seventeen on the die. I assume that hits. Uh, Nineteen holy damage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Demon. Demon is going to stop closing that pit. And head up here. Can't quite get to it. Uh, can try to shoot painful pain things at you. It's going to shoot a bolt of acid at you. Mm-hmm. Twenty-one physical defense. That hits. Alright, you take ongoing 10 acid damage. Okay, do I take the first 10 right away? No. Alright. Parry. Again, try to heal him. <laughs> Keep beating that dead horse. <laughs> hey! There you go. What does that add to it? Uh, that's a wisdom check, right? Yep. Wisdom plus pigeon. 22. 22. Alright, it takes a standard action, but you get a backup. He's at least not dying. <laughs> You're not dead! He's not conscious either, but he's not dead. I'm saving that for my saving message. Still got a move action. Okay. I'm gonna climb out of the ramp into the closing pit. Uh, well, he won't close it if I'm not in it, so I'm going to get out. Let's okay. try. I got a chance to do that. Yep. Roll me a strength check. Okay. It's a bit fiddly now that it's the opening is so small. It's sort of involves hanging upside down for a bit. Uh, 16. Right. Managed to climb up on the edge. I'm imagining like he, the wizard gets stuck like halfway through and then the guy tries to close again. Closes, just closes on his gut. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I've been saved by my beard gut. <laughs> right. Demon! He's going to get up in Doc's face. Go for the punch. Ooh, 18 on the die. <laughs> Demon is going to do 20 points of damage to you, Doc. Yeah. As it catches you in its mouth. Mandibles, then it's going to try and swallow you. 
It's 24 physical defense. That hits. Gulp. <laughs> I'm inside the game. <laughs> yup. Oh, um, Christ. Doc, your turn. <laughs> You're inside a gut. Does your special armor have some sort of spiky function? <laughs> I, uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Alrighty, this is a point where I uh, panic and my clockwork armor's uh, free action uh, <laughs> pops up. Bonus standard. Mm -hmm. So I lose one recovery, and I'm gonna hit it in the. I'm gonna hit it with my hammer repeatedly. Okay. All right. All right. Fifteen on the die plus eight versus uh, AC. So that's twenty-three versus AC. No escalation. Actually, you're inside it. Yeah. Did you add escalation? Oh no, I didn't. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say you're inside it. You probably get a bonus there. Mm -hmm. Ready. So that's uh, 12 damage. Okay. Right. And I'm going to swing your hammer and it emits a bright flash. And you notice something. Uh, there's a bunch of writhing shadows also in this stomach. Uh huh. And they don't like the light that your hammer is generating. <laughs> oh, <laughs> crap. <laughs> so you, you got to understand it, actually. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to continue to hit, the, hit my way out. Okay. <laughs> Ugh, three on the die. <laughs> Oh, add it up. Alrighty. Uh, so that's three plus Functionally eight. 11 plus whatever your modifier is. Okay, 11 plus 8. Or, yeah. 19? 19 plus uh, 6. I had that already. Oh, okay. That's why I said 11. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so it just takes three damage. You get some grisly bit of cartilage in there. Yeah. Alright, and I'm going to try to... Uh, Take 10 on acid damage from your own door. Uh, yeah, and uh, I'm going to heal. Uh, healing yourself is a good one. Yeah. 26. Mm -hmm. And I take 10. Yep, 10 acid. Okay, so... And roll save against acid. Yeah, I do. Okay. Take ongoing 10 acid damage for being in a stomach. Alright. <laughs> the reason I said you want to make it, because in 13th age, ongoing stacks. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be taking ongoing 20. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright. Demon's turn. Holding his horribly malformed gut. Am I giving him uh, a stomach ache? <laughs> oh, yes. Hey, he crits his perception checks if he spots where Perry is, but his scuff as he's making in the dirt. Get up in Perry's face. Try and grab Perry. Hey, 18 on the die. Yeah. You might have a friend in a minute there, uh, Doc. <laughs> 20%. Ooh, true. Uh, oh, he gets you. <laughs> yeah, you take 20 points of damage, and then he tries to swallow you. He crits on swallowing you, of course he does. Is that also 20%? No. <laughs> He's holding on to you. Okay. <laughs> Alright. You take 10 damage and you are swallowed. Ah. <laughs> Guess what? This is where Perry does his more risky stuff. Uh -huh. In this type of situations. <laughs> Alright. Uh, both of you. Perry, you're going to take 10 cold damage as the shadows inside of him get at you. Uh, you, Doc, manage to avoid them. Mm -hmm. And it's Perry's turn. Well, please use color spray. <laughs> it would be hilarious. <laughs> For you, I'll use color spray. I will give you plus five to hit with this. <laughs> Are the shadows trying to get out? Yeah. Crit fail. Oh, boo. <laughs> hey. We'll say it's plus five to your natural roll. <laughs> I really want you to tie dye the inside of its gut. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. That is uh, that is twenty versus mental defense. Oh, sadly, that still doesn't work. <laughs> oh, no force in the world seems to want to let you tie dye his intestines. <laughs> Demon's turn. Well, all the people are gone. <laughs> So you're not sure what it's doing. Doc. Also, Perry, take on going to ask Uh, would I be able to uh, shoot it with uh, Javelin of Faith? You might provoke from the shadows, but you can try. Mm. Although, how much they're concerned about attacking you, you're not sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to shoot it. <laughs> right. You do not get attacked. Alright, that's a 5. Plus 7 is... Or, yeah. 18 versus physical defense. Nope. Nah. So it does three holy damage. Alright. And 
the do I have to roll a save against the acid, or that just keeps on going? Uh, well, while you're inside, it's just gonna keep going. Mm-hmm. Digestive fluids. Yeah, you take the acid. Mm-hmm. Good. Shadows are gonna attack. Damage the demon. Then it's Perry's turn again. You're not sure what the demon's doing. You can tell it's moving around or walking somewhere. We're going to cut its gut open and find out it's been flying this whole time. <laughs> oh, crap. Possibly. Not sure. Well, at least you were able to stabilize Vin before. <laughs> no. Well, someone will live to tell the tale. <laughs> uh, Partially entombed in stone. Well, it's still... He's a dwarf. Escal- he knows how to deal with stone. Apparently it's still escalation six. So no All right. Come on, tight eight insides. Yeah, that's a lot better. It's a 15 on the die. Yeah, that should do it. <laughs> Roll damage. That is 13 psychic damage and 3 necrotic. <laughs> you definitely feel violent movement going around. Uh, he's uh, below 20 HP. He can... He's not. <laughs> not. Alrighty. <sighs> I'm just gonna keep shooting at it. <laughs> Alright. Oh, crit! Alright. Alright, so 4 plus 4, 8 plus 4 is uh, 12. Uh, 24 holy damage. Uh, that was a uh, javelin hit? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You try firing it under your um, bionic arm, and it comes out like a cutting torch, and you start yeah. like, just like working it down the side of the thing. Yeah. And uh, it splits open, and as you fear, you are in fact flying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Both of you be in falling. <laughs> You appear to be flying uh, about uh, 50, 60 feet over what appears to be part of a mountain range. Uh, can I hit pair feather fall for both of us? Yeah. I mean, I have two slots for it. Sure, go for it. <laughs> Alrighty, we're... You both begin uh, slowly drifting down. You don't recognize the area you're in. <laughs> you're somewhere in the mountains. <laughs> And you do definitely, uh, oh, also those shadows that were in the stomach, uh, they fall out and start burning away in the sunshine. Ah, uh, correct. Shrieking in absolute terror and agony. Yeah. Right. So you're in what appears to be an unfamiliar mountain range. <laughs> the uh, body of the demon slams into the side of the mountain, rolls down it, lies on the ground, twitching, burbling. Mm-hmm. Weird, disgusting fluid leaking out of it. I, as, as I'm falling, I'm just shooting down on the face at it. <laughs> just to make sure it's dead. <laughs> you are out of combat. Alrighty! Yay! We're, we're flying! We're flying! Also, uh, Doc, you have, you're, you're all alone. <laughs> you see no one around you. <laughs> see and hear no one. Certainly it wouldn't be important even if you could see them. You're all alone, trapped in the mountains. But from but some... How am I flying? Wait! My hammer, it must be the mighty Mjolnir! <laughs> <laughs> I knew Clearly. there was something special about this thing! <laughs> Perry, you're much more concerned. You don't see Tom anywhere. <sighs> Looks like he had the sense to not get eat. <laughs> yeah. I look uh, anywhere on the mountain range for anything like where a big cave that might have recently opened up. <laughs> and? Uh, as you're falling in slow motion, uh, you can see quite a ways off toward the south. You can see what looks like an opening. Mm-hmm. There's a bunch of dust in the air around it. Looks like a recent collapse. All right. Well, I guess I try to fall as close to that area as possible. All right. I figure we have a long trek ahead of us. <laughs> it would only take me a few minutes. <laughs> it didn't have that long. Yeah, I want to st- uh, go talk to this demon. And mm-hmm. I want to uh, cut off a bit of its horn. Demon's moving around. Oh, I thought it was. No, no, no. I'm saying it's done. Oh. From his perspective, it just looks like the demon started moving around. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I continue also, firing. Also, it's attaching its head somehow. <laughs> I continue firing at it. <laughs> Perry, it's very difficult to get samples of this demon as large pieces of it keep getting shot and blown up in front of you. <laughs> okay. Stop it now. <laughs> okay, I'm going to arcane mark on the ground. It says, "Hey, this is Perry. Meet you back at Dorton." No, 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 no. I got a better idea. I like to think the arcane mark says, "This is Perry." Meet me. Uh, no, no, no. Hang on. Um, 
steps to send googly eyes. It's just like this long section of empty dirt with just ellipses. Yeah. But yes, googly eyes on the demon. Okay. The demon's eyes are popping out. All googly and terrifying. I continue shooting at it. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> the demon no longer has a face. Yeah. I see like a little a little blur in the air or something. I'm like, oh, the demon's casting magic at me. And I shoot also, it. There's some weird writing on the ground. It's probably not important. Yeah. <laughs> I love that you got both of these effects at once. There's like no way of you to communicate with anyone right now. I'm completely silent, right? Yup. <laughs> Silent, invisible, and no one cares anyway. <laughs> this is the best combination of <laughs> If I ever run another game, I am putting in a potion that does all three of these things and just giving it to the players and letting them realize that it's a cursed item. <laughs> Use it. No, no, it does exactly what it says it would. It's just that that happens to be incredibly inconvenient. <laughs> I'll watch him, and as long as he's not looking at the demon, I'll work. What you do, Doc? I can't even shoot at the demon. <laughs> <laughs> There's no such thing as overkill. There's only keep firing and I need to reload. <laughs> when, as soon as I get close to it, I begin hammering at anything I think. The demon has been reduced to a fine paste. <laughs> yeah, it's uh. Does the Horn fall off? No, it's powder now. Makes a new sludge. Horn powder. Yeah. Demon horn powder. Yeah, it's, I like, it's, it's not exactly just horn powder. It's more like sludge. It's all in uniform sludge. Chunky salsa. Yeah, fine, whatever. No, no demon stuff. Feel free to write demon salsa on there. <laughs> no, nah, it's, it's too late. <laughs> Alright. The demon seems thoroughly neutralized. <laughs> <laughs> Several minutes later, <laughs> eventually, you're convinced this isn't the problem anymore. Alrighty. Alrighty, I look over to the uh, cave and decide, alright, it's time for us to walk. It's time for me to walk. I got a long uh, hike ahead of me. Also, in the staggering amount of time you've spent, Perry reappears. <laughs> ah, lovely. <laughs> and he looks rather disappointed in you. <laughs> he looks, I don't know, upset about something. <laughs> How long does that potion actually last? Does it say? It does not say. No, it probably lasts like an hour or something. Then. <laughs> it lasts all day. <laughs> <laughs> Perry's arrived. He seems grumpy about something. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares what he thinks? Mm. All right, Perry, uh, is Vin with you? He is alive, unconscious in the protection circle, but luckily, hopefully, it is unsealed. We should probably go over there and make sure. All righty. <laughs> you, uh, take the long hike yeah. <laughs> back to the area of the collapse. You can all roll me a wisdom check. This is a perception thing. So, uh, 19. I got a 15. Right. Uh, as you approach the area of the cave you can see a big deep pit, but you can also see uh, a bunch of people standing around it, a bunch of dwarves. Mm. They all look familiar. <laughs> <laughs> like they all look exactly the same? Similar. A lot of them have disfiguring scars and other uh, personal ailments. <laughs> is the pit sealed? Uh, the pit's not sealed. It is over empty. Oh. Vin? Anywhere? You can't see in there, really. Captive. You can just see like the big open crater that the collapse generated. There's a bunch of dwarves standing around it. Several of them are chanting. Are they pissed? They're not sure. They're not close enough to tell. Telescope. All right. They look worried. Mm. They probably haven't seen uh, me kill actually kill the thing and think it's just loose in the world now. Possibly. <laughs> I suggest we find our way back to Anvil and try to find our old, our, uh, our mates and regroup. Yeah, I'm really concerned about them. Uh, he's a big boy, he can take care of himself, right? Possibly. I mean, during that time, you know, it's like an hour, so I probably have enough time to try to get out. Get what out? Out of the pit. Oh, for Vin to get out? Yeah. Possibly. He was really bad here. 
or try to disguise myself as one of them. You could. Go ahead, I'm having no part of this. Well, considering the fact that I'm also uh, under the effects of potion of blending, I'm just yeah. unimportant, just another one of them. Yeah, you go ahead and do that, I'm not gonna try to... <laughs> yeah, hey, there's uh, the, the guy, and I'm the cousin you've never heard of. <laughs> who doesn't look for, Who doesn't look the same? Yeah. Thanks, <laughs> Dad. This could backfire in pretty bad wires. What do you... What? I'm going to try it. Some disfigured scars and stuff. Just like one of the fighters, I suppose. Just wander in there. I'm completely um, unimportant. Wandering around, you can see uh, most of the figures here are the female version. Uh, they appear to be performing some sort of ritual. Or you're not sure what exactly they're doing. It looks complicated, though. Uh, there's one or two of the male fighter guys who are sort of standing off to one side, not really paying much attention to what uh, the ladies are doing. They don't really look like they want to be there. It feels like they want to hit something. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a quick peek in the hole. Yeah, you don't see dead anywhere. Okay then. I'll just wonder, see if I can listen to anything. Uh, it doesn't, really, doesn't seem like they're really talking. Uh, if you head over to the two soldiery kind of guys, they're muttering about how they want to track the thing down and then smash its face in. That they've always wanted to do this. <laughs> Not for all this. Pussy footing around, terror of the horrible monster nonsense. <laughs> uh, you can tell though that um, beneath the sort of swaggering bravado they're throwing around, there's some fear there. They don't actually think they could take this thing in a fair fight, considering you collapsed the mountain on the detonated of fifty wards on it prior to fighting it, mm-hmm. and you fought a half formed version of it, <laughs> and it still nearly killed you. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, well, I don't see you anywhere, so. Just a small wander in here to see if he just... You're going to start kind of wander down into the crater? Yeah. All right. Uh, a couple of... Uh, you notice this sort of weird washout effect of all the people standing around you. Uh, they start coming into color as they start sort of looking at you as you're wandering into the crater. None of them are walking into the crater. Oh, okay. That's okay, man. All right. <laughs> it looks like you can um, figure out who's paying attention to you because they start becoming colored again. As you sort of wander away from the lip again, they all sort of fade to gray again. Probably means I can't just leave. <laughs> you don't know? I'm going to try to just leave. Hmm. Then let's see if you care. Okay. Head back to where Doc is? Yeah. Finn is not in the hole. Well, that's good. I, I, I don't think I can take much more of this. I think we need to. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get back to town or something. I think I can use some sleep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I look around, is like there any uh, side you entrances? You recognize some of the mountains, you can figure out where you are. You mm-hmm. think it could be about two or three hours to walk back to Speaking Angle. Speaking of which, do you think I might be able to find where the vent is? The vent for the souls? Yeah. Possibly. You'd have to wander over near to where those guys are. Well, but not that close. Up, it would be above, right? I'd be on the surface. Yeah, that's where you are. But I mean, it's like, the crater's there, yeah. the soul forge is there. Yeah. It's like... Five ten minute water away from it. Mm-hmm. Like you'd be inside of them, but they might not care. You don't know. Well, almost a little bit far away too. Pardon? Well, I'm going to investigate. Just get see if there's any souls just lingering around. Lingering around? No. Oh god. Let's head back to town. <laughs> Alrighty then. All right. You guys can get a full heal. Mm-hmm. As you uh, head back into town and probably collapse into beds at the nearest temple. <laughs> <laughs> A couple of people are asking you about what you found, but you're like, yeah, sleep now. <laughs> Talking, no. <laughs> Tom there? Tom? Yeah, he's kicking around in that temple. You're alive. He's actually eating some soup. He glances over and goes, oh, you're alive. <laughs> Sighs heavily. <laughs> Still has all my stuff, though, right? <laughs> Most of it. See, yeah. Uh, Hastily takes down a notice off of the board which says, yeah, garage sale of <laughs> various wizardly accruements. <laughs> What's that? Oh, no. oh nothing below. <laughs> just uh, just something I was uh, drafting off there earlier. It's not important. <laughs> yes, your, your potion has worn off at this point. I think that's probably a decent place to cut it. Yeah. Alright. Uh, questions, comments, suggestions? <laughs> well, I still have some of those reagents left, so I could start poking at that mind control thing. 
Like, possibly. How are you guys liking the game, anyway? Thumbs up. Me? Thumbs up. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Anything you think uh, could be improved or better? I'm just thinking uh, we should have fought that monster with a full party. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the fact that it gets double turns is pretty brutal if there's only two of you. Yeah. I probably should have just knocked it down to one. But... <laughs> Gives a bit of weight to it. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, we are fighting. Well, what I was trying to avoid was uh, the problem I ran into a lot when we were running fourth edition, and we had like the table of seven people. Mm-hmm. Whenever I did like a solo monster, it was like it died in the first round because yeah. there was nothing else to fight, yeah. and it just didn't have the hit points to soak up like, seven turns worth of alpha strike attacks. <laughs> Plus, you know, I wanted it to be scary. <laughs> yeah. It was scary. Yeah. yeah. Definitely disempowering. <laughs> that was kind of the goal. Yeah. Uh, you, you did do basically the smartest way to fight it, which is to detonate all the wards on it and then try and fight it from there. Uh, the only other thing you could do is try to set up traps of your own around first that you can try and lure it into, that sort of thing. But yeah. yeah. Any other suggestions? Oh, you seem to be doing a pretty good job. No, oh, thank you. By the way, uh, can I get my contacts from you guys? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Six for Archmage, six for Emperor. Cool. I got a five from the uh, Dwarf King. Did I deliver that scroll yet? I think the scroll was for delivering Forge. Yeah, I think we're still a handful. Not quite. 